Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another session of podcast. I wish and I'm sure you will enjoy listening to the progress. Today there's there's little control we have on for example the quality of food that we get, the pesticides that are put or the vegetables or uh, the rice etc. So what is it that we can actually control within our lives and our lifestyle to make sure that we don't fall prey to diabetes mellitus? Artificial um, chemical fertilizers and uh, huge amount of pesticides in the field of agriculture is uh, really uh, contaminated our uh, raw material what we buy from uh, the shops to the house mm. <coughs> to cook our food, right? right. So, um, what I can uh, advise you is uh, there are methods to protect ourselves, mm. number one. If you carefully look at uh, the, uh, we'll take the rice part of it. Mm. In the mill itself, nowadays they mix uh, boric acid oh. to make sure it doesn't get insects. Mm. Okay. Mm. So wash your rice three to four times with hot water. Okay. And make sure you, uh, you know, cook it with an open vessel of excess water and drain it. Mm. This is one where you can protect yourself. Right. And there's too much of mechanization and also artificial molecular values added. If I tell you that, you will be scared. <laughs> when they process uh, wheat mm -hmm. into uh, rava, maida, atta and all that, you have different types of maidas. Mm. I don't know whether you are aware of it. No, I'm not actually. You are not aware of it. <laughs> we will not talk about it. Mm. We will talk about it later. Mm. Well, on, on program on what is happening on all those things. Mm. So you buy your uh, uh, whole grain wheat mm. and then you put it to a flour mill and powder it. Mm. You can avoid a lot of further chemical contamination of processing rava, meat, maida and right. yeah. And this is one. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the question of uh, vegetables, so you nicely rinse the vegetable uh, for a longer period of time before mm -hmm. you take them up for cutting. As you cut your vegetables, uh, take uh, lukewarm water, mm -hmm. uh, put uh, one or two spoons of salt mm -hmm. and uh, turmeric powder mm -hmm. and then put them there okay. for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then take it up, drain it and take it up for cooking. Mm. This, this, this is very important. Mm. And if you see the ancient science, they say, please eat your cooked food mm. within uh, 24 minutes after you cook. It's mm. very, very, it's got a lot of, lot of human science behind it. Right. And you don't try to find economy in uh, saving your cooked food. Mm. That's wrong. Mm. You know, you have kept a big bowl of dal and it is not, oh, you know, properly eaten today. Too much is left over. Please waste them. Mm. I, I don't asking you to waste them by doing them in the gutter. You can always cook some rice extra, mm. mix it up and give it to the dogs on the road. Yeah. Don't hold them. Mm. Try to eat fresh food every time mm. and hot. Fruits, you have no choice. You can't do a damn. <laughs> what you can do, you tell me. Yeah. How are you going to wash your bananas? True. And the worst contaminated, chemically contaminated fruit is, you know what? Grapes. Grapes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember you telling us. Yeah, grapes. So we can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, too much of chemicals are being sprayed on the fruits mm -hmm. for their life's uh, shelf life. Shelf life. You know? That's also another uh, dangerous stuff. Mm. So, we are uh, in a world where uh, we are only getting uh, contaminated uh, food. After all, we cook our food mm. to make sure that it doesn't harm us. Mm. That's how the cooking, uh, art of cooking came into play True. many, many thousands of years ago. Mm. And uh, try to eat, uh, avoid eating raw salads. Okay. Mm. That's very dangerous mm -hmm. at the moment. And if you like them so much, uh, then uh, you uh, make sure that you squeeze lime on it. Lime? Mm. 
-hmm. Try to neutralize, alkalize many things mm -hmm. and then have them. Okay. These are all the areas that one can somewhat safeguard themselves mm -hmm. by practicing this. If you say that I don't have time for all these things, mm -hmm. I have to cook within half an hour and rush to my office. Nobody can help me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for spending your quality time. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you enjoyed this session. See you later.